I'm going to start with this differential equation. So first thing I'm going to do is move the 2x squared y dy to the right. And I want to divide both sides by negative 2x squared y dx. And then I'm going to break up the fraction into two fractions, this common denominator of 2x squared y. And now I'm going to simplify. So I'm going to have dy over dx minus y over 2x equals negative y squared over 2x squared. This is perfect because I'm going to make the connection with Bernoulli equation. Bernoulli equation is of the form y prime plus p of x y equals q of x times y to the n. So p of x here is negative 1 half x. q x is negative 1 over 2 x squared. And n is 2. So y here, or sorry, we're going to make v substitution where v is y to the 1 minus n, n is 2, that means v is equal to y to the negative 1 power. For the Bernoulli equation, we're going to solve, so we're going to solve 1 over 1 minus n times v prime minus v over 2x equals negative 1 over 2x squared. So again, n equals 2, so 1 minus 2 is negative 1. And now I'm just going to make everything positive, so multiply both sides by negative 1. In order to solve this, we want to find an integration factor. So the integration factor will be e to the integral 1 over 2x, which solving will be square root of x. We're going to take this integration factor and multiply both sides with it. And that's what we get. And notice that on the left side, that's just the product rule for root x times v. So at this step, we're going to integrate both sides. So integrating the derivative will cancel it. And then integrating on the right using the power rule. We're going to divide both sides by root x. So keep in mind, negative x to the negative 1 half is negative 1 over root x. And then when I divide it by root x, it becomes negative 1 over x. In the beginning, we substituted v equals y to the negative 1 power. So we'll plug it back in. And in order to solve for y, I'm going to have to flip both sides, right? But it's good to get a common denominator first. So I want to get a common denominator of x. Therefore, I'm going to multiply the fraction, the second fraction, by root x over root x. I get my common denominator. I add it. And now I can flip both sides to get y. And that's my final answer.